Hey garden friends, so today I'm making a round succulent arrangement in this hypertufa pot and it's probably five inches wide. It's looking pretty good. No cracks, no chips on this one and I'll show you the plants that I have. I have a beautiful Haworthia fasciata. This is the variegated zebra plant. So it's a lime green. Looks like a star, so beautiful. I have a Chrysula. This one is E.T. Fingers. Check it out, you can see why they call it that. And this is all coming from one stem. You can see this is the main stem right here and it's branched out into all these different little fingers. And the fingers have the cutest little suction cups right at the top. And I'll try to get really close here. Isn't that adorable? Oh, it's trying to focus, there it goes. It also looks like coral to me. You see how cool it looks from the top? It's far more interesting from the top, I think. But yeah, it reminds me like, like, you know, coral. So cute. All right, Chrysula E.T. Fingers. I have Echeveria Lime and Chili. Beautiful rosette style, succulent, nice and brown. I have a thimble cactus. This is a cool one. Check it out. It's very small. Not the petable petable cactus. They do bite, but the little spine there, it looks like a spider, doesn't it? And look at all the little arms that it's kind of grown. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can kind of touch them a little, but you know, can't get too comfortable. Thimble cactus, right there. I have a beautiful Graptoveria bashful. And it's already blushing. Oh, look at that beautiful, like, purple color. And that's the normal green that it is, and then it turns into that. Isn't that beautiful? Craptoveria bashful. I have another Crisula. This one is Congesta. And they remind me of little green beans, and they're fuzzy. Super petable. Oh, yeah. Congesta. That's a Crisula. I have a small tail of Senecio String of Pearls. Always fun. Oh, and look at this one. Check this one out. This one is a sedum, and I know it as Tokyo Sun. Oh my god, the camera's even having a hard time focusing because it's so bright. But this is, you know, a small, tiny little plant anyways. All right, so let's see what I, how I put this all together. I'll start with my soil here. Cactus soil. And, you know, since since it's not that big of an opening here, you know, I don't have a ton of space, so I'll see what I can get away with. Hopefully, I'll be able to fit all of them in there. And I'll start with the ET fingers. And the ET fingers should go probably in the center here. There I go. I always like to start with the taller one or the, the bigger plant that I have. Okay, it's right there. Perfect. Okay, that's a good start. And then I'll go for, let's see, so the congested is another tall one that I have. So why don't they, hmm, they'll just share the back space right over here. So I'll shift the ET fingers to the left side right here, and I'll put the congesta on the right side. Make my little well here. Gotta be a little careful with the congested. It is a little fragile. Okay. Shuffle my soil around, press it down so it can kind of stay put. Boom, right there. Okay, perfect. Oh, that's cute. Okay. And now I'll go for my bashful. And since the little suction cups are kind of red and the bashful is red, I, I think I'll I'll Put them together. So right here. Cute. Oh my gosh. Now that I think about it, I'm probably going to need more plants for this little planter. I'll put my Chrysula zebra plant. I'll kind of just press it down right there. Didn't have much roots. The, the roots are very shallow on this plant. So just by placing it on the top will be enough right there. Ooh. Now for the, you know what? I think I'll put the sedum 
onto this side right here, the little Tokyo Sun. And I'll take it out of its pot here. And I'll be very careful, kind of squeezing the pot little by little until it comes out. There, it popped out right there. And you see how it's like in one little square here. I'm gonna try my best and keep it all together like in a little bundle, but I will kind of shake this little root ball here and shake off as much soil as I can without completely tearing it apart. I'm just trying to fit it into this little area here. Okay. So there I go. So I took, you know, I took a good amount of it off right there. And I'll make my little well here. And I'll just gently place that root ball right, right in there. I won't handle it too much. And I'll just leave it just like that. Perfect. Don't want to mess with it too much. And now I have three more plants. I have the thimble, I have the lime and chili, and I've got the little tail of senecio. So I will put the senecio right here by the sedum so it can kind of hang over on this side. Tiny little roots here. And you see how that sedum is so, oh, it's starting to fall apart on me, okay. I've got to move fast with the senecio here. So I'll just put that, put the little tiny roots in, in the little well there and I'll press it down and I'll kind of just nestle them right on the edge there because the roots aren't like super deep in there. So I'm afraid that this tail is a little heavy. So if it's it, so if it's hanging right now, I'm just afraid that because the roots aren't settled into their new soil, it'll just fall right out. So for now, I'll have that little tail tucked tucked um, on top of the rim. And once it gets stronger, it can start to hang and it'll just stay put, if that makes any sense. <laughs> so let me adjust that Haworthia. I'll also adjust this congesta. It's looking kind of weird over here. That's a little better. It's kind of leaning towards the front there. And I'll get my knitting needle and I'll press down, press down on that root ball, that sedum root ball. It's still on top of the soil there. Okay. All right. Whew. You see, when you when you work with um, sensitive plants, you know it can be a little nerve wracking. I'll put my. I should put the thimble right in here. Then I'll be very careful. I'm wearing no gloves here. Oof. Very gentle, you see? You can kind of touch it, just a little. Doesn't like to be touched too much. And now for the lime and chili, and I'll just Tuck the little roots in this little well there. Ooh. And bam. That turned out so cute. I like it. Oh yeah. But I got some perlite. And that bashful there. Right in the center too. Come on. And I don't have my little blower. Oh man. There it is. Kind of brush it off. Brush off the rim here. Oh, that turned out so cute. I really like it. All right. So now I'll work on the stones. And I've got the stones here. And I'll kind of comb through and get the smaller, smaller stones. Press down on it gently. This is the relaxing part for me. 
tucking them all in because I've already figured out the arrangement part, which is probably, you know, the part where I have to think the most. But now, I can just concentrate getting these little stones in. A lot of big ones here. Hmm. Didn't plan that one out, right? That's okay. It is a beautiful day. The sky is super blue, not one cloud in the sky. There's a breeze going, so it's not like terribly hot. It's like a perfect, like 70, 70 degrees. Just beautiful spring day. And I'm glad I have the chance to come out and make some arrangements. Cause that's what I really, really like to do. I like to take photos and all that, of course, but, oh man, making the arrangements is what's really fun. And I don't even think of the combinations. I've been asking Brian, he's my, my husband, he picks out the combinations for me. So... I like the challenge, you know, because when you're picking out your own succulent arrangement, you kind of like, you know, kind of get away with it. Like, oh, well, I like arranging, I like arranging with, you know, with echeverias and, and, you know, like the more pastel colored ones. But when I ask Brian, he pick, picks out, you know, a random combination. So I get to kind of think about it and put it together. Like I said, I, I, I like the challenge of not choosing my own arrangement. Because it, it's kind of like a surprise, you know? But I think I'm done here. And this little spot here has a lot of stones. <laughs> but I can see a little hole there that I can tuck some in. Right here. Be careful with that congesta. My fingers are too big. Okay. Oh, that's so cute. A nice green succulent arrangement. What is not to love about this? And I got myself a big brush here, so I'm just gonna lift this arrangement up. I'm going to just wipe away that soil. So you can take a better look at it. And I'll pick it up. Oh, look at that. It's that bashful there with the Haworthia. That thimble cactus right in there. So cute. And these are just loving each other's company right there. The congesto with the ET fingers. Oh, I just love it. Can't wait to watch it grow. Hope you enjoyed this video as much as I liked making it. So, until the next planting. Bye, Gordon friends.